Audrey and welcome back to Odd Vlogs! Guys, I am so excited for today's video. I'm like bouncing all over. <laughs> Today I'm going to be letting my followers, my fans, my subscribers, whatever you guys like to call it, decide what I shop for on Amazon. So earlier this morning I went on my Instagram stories and if you had or if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me out all around Audrey. Um, but basically on there, I asked you guys to DM me with a link to your favorite product on Amazon or if you don't have a favorite product, something you've always wanted to try. So I'm so excited to be going through DMs today and seeing what you guys have. I haven't peeked at all. I've been waiting to save my reaction for this moment and we're gonna be opening them up together. All right, we are now into the general DMs. Ooh, we've gotten so many things. I'm so excited, guys. Um, my bank account is probably not gonna be excited for this video. We're gonna be placing a $50 limit per item because I don't want this to get way too expensive, way too fast, um, cause some of you may be a little bougie. I have no idea. All right, the person that we opened up the DM for was Angelina from tyfs.strong and they said, I mean, it's not technically a product, but it's cute Christmas decor. Ooh, ooh, guys, Spencer and I are actually gonna go Christmas shopping this week. So I love this idea of these pillowcases. We will get these. All right, next up we're going to Riley and T-Y-F-V-S underscore. And this is the product that they recommended. Oh, Why? Actually, okay, I can't judge because I do have something very similar to this in my apartment right now. I do have, like, I have had foot peel masks before and they work like crazy. Next up, we're looking at Teresa from Sisto Edits um, recommendation. They said, I don't know, this just seems interesting. Like, will actually not damage the banana? What? Okay, they recommended a banana Bopper banana peel or slicer? What? <laughs> I've never heard of this before. This will be so interesting to try. So let's add this to the cart. All right, next up we have Ava from Sisto underscore TYF. Let's see what they suggest. Ooh, okay, so they suggest this Ugg boots. Oh, I actually have owned Ugg boots in the past and they were so comfy, so cute. Sadly though, this is out of our price range. This is about $127 to $129, which makes sense because, because Ugg is a very good, well-known brand and they have boot quality products. So we're not gonna be getting um, these boots today, but I do think your recommendation is 10 out of 10. And thank you for the suggestion. All right, next up we have Julia from shining underscore TYF. And they said you can maybe use this for a future slime video. Let's see what it is. Oh my gosh, this looks so much fun. Oh, we have to get these. <gasps> I don't have any slime supplies at my apartment right now, so we're definitely getting this and making some slime because I love slime. All right, next up we have Lily from Editing TYF, and they gave me a link to something that they've always wanted. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So these are fairy lights. Oh, I guess you can add it to your tree or you could put them on the wall and pay, like hang little pictures on them. I actually used to do that in my apartment. This is so cute. Okay, let's add this to the cart. All right guys, so I am going to be ordering all those products and you probably saw from my screen recording there were so many more people that sent me things. And I'm sorry I could not get to your product in this video, um, but thank you so much for sending in all of your suggestions. The next person that sent me a DM was Andrew Doyle, and what, let's see what they suggested. Oh my gosh, what in the world? A hot dog toaster? I have never heard of this before. I didn't even know this was a thing. Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> this is 
really funny. Okay, well, I guess we have to get it. Like, oh my gosh. Next up, Therese, or Therese, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, I'm so bad. But let's see what she suggested for us. Ooh, whoa. So um, what she suggested is a ceramic waterfall smoke backflow incense burner home decor incense holder with 10 cones. I love how the titles are so long. But this is so cool. I've never had something like this before. But apparently there's like, these are all natural scents. And so, ooh. So I think it's just like a home diffuser or like a scent diffuser. It's like a candle, but like with essential oils, I'm pretty sure. Never tried one of these before, so I'm so excited. So let's add this to the cart and see what it's like. All right guys, so I am going to be ordering all those products and you probably saw from my screen recording there were so many more people that sent me things and I'm sorry I could not get to your product in this video um, but thank you so much for sending in all of your suggestions I really appreciate it and if you guys want a part two to this video make sure you give the video a thumbs up um, but anyways I'm gonna place these orders on Amazon and then I'll see you whenever they come hopefully sometime this week and we're gonna try them and we're back almost a week later actually probably a no no, a couple days later. I have all the products here with me and I'm about to try them. I have not tried any of them yet, but I have them all here with me. I'm so excited. So anyways, in no specific order, let's just get started with trying everything that you guys suggested. Spencer's here to join. <laughs> First product we are going to be testing is the Retro Pop-Up hot dog toaster oh my gosh so okay a little sneak peek um before this video started spencer got a little hungry i had it for lunch <laughs> spencer actually already tried this product it's I'll, so I'll bring it in. genius it's actually, i love it it's my new favorite thing it is the best way to have hot dogs the best minimal effort way to have hot dogs it's really kind of cute too. If you're a kind of person to boil their hot dogs, stop doing that immediately and buy yourself a hot dog toaster. It's way better. I didn't even know people boiled their hot dogs until like a month ago. Boiling hot dogs is disgusting. <laughs> I thought it gets like soggy. I thought the so only weird. way you can cook a hot dog is over a campfire or like in a like little pan. I never thought to boil. I never thought to even toast it. Yeah. Before this, my favorite way, my favorite minimal effort way to make hot dogs is just in the microwave. Oh. But this is way better. <laughs> so yeah, it comes and with- And it toasts your bun too. It toasts your buns toast and your, your hot dogs bun. and you can do two at once. So since Spencer already tried it, it I have- It toasts your buns. What? It toasts your buns. It toasts your buns. It toasts your buns. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> We're proud owners of this hot dog yeah. machine. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna try it. So let's plug it in and see if it's all the hype. The hot dog has cooked, so let's take it out. Also, I think it's so cute that they provide you with like these little clipper thingies so you can hold it. That it's so like, that's so nice because then you won't accidentally burn yourself. So we're gonna take it out. It's kind of um, a little burnt on the sides, if you guys can tell, but that's okay. Ain't no burnt gonna hurt anyone, so. <laughs> and then, okay, these are a little bit hard to grab though. Ta-da! Actually, it looks good. It looks like I literally roasted it over a campfire. And if you guys know me, I love mustard. I do not like ketchup as much, so I'm gonna be putting mustard on my hot dog. Comment down below if you're the same as me, if you like mustard. I know a lot of people don't, um, but we could be twins. All right, let's, let's try this hot dog. Oh wow, the buns are so soft. Cheers. <gasps> Wait, this is a game changer. <laughs> This is actually so good. <laughs> I rate this product surprisingly a 10 out of 10. I thought this was gonna be kind of like a joke, but it's pretty decent, so I highly recommend. <laughs> All right, up next we have the Banana Bopper, which I have never heard of this before either. Um, I didn't know that you could literally buy banana peelers to peel your banana with. 
But yeah, it says it cuts through the peel without damaging the banana. So if this works, this is gonna be this is gonna be great. Um, usually I don't struggle too bad with a banana, like trying to open it, but I know there's some there's some bananas that give up a good fight. So um, we're gonna see if this banana peeler works, and maybe if it does, I'll start using it every time I get bananas. Okay, we're doing this together. <laughs> I think you just go like. There's like this little hook. I'm gonna try to show you guys. There's like this little hook on the inside of this, and I think you stick it to the banana, and that's what cuts it. Oh, oh, oh. Not a necessity neither is this but like it's a great gift if you need something to give to someone like great stocking stuffer the banana bopper there you go all right up next we are gonna be trying the slime kit I am so excited for this now we finally have some slime in the apartment um, I am with some box it let's see what kind of slime um, things we can make today. All right, so in my little slime box, I have ooh, color changing glue from yellow to red. Really fun, really fresh. Glitter glue, we love a good classic glitter glue. Um, uh, transparent pink glue, really cool. We also have glow in the dark glue that's sparkly as well, really fun. And metallic glue. And then we have some other fun additives. So we have a magical liquid confetti slime activator. What? I did not know that they like put glitter in the activator. That's actually genius. So yeah, we have the confetti activator. Then there's, oh, some more confetti activator. Metallic slime activator. Um, glow slime activator. And then crunchy slime activator. Oh, okay, what should we make today? There's actually a recipe on the back of this box for crunchy slime. So maybe we'll do the crunchy slime recipe. All right, so this is pretty easy to make. We just need one of the glues. I'm gonna choose the metallic glue, this cool, pretty blue color. And then all you need to do is just pour it into the bowl. I picked out a clear one, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit. Man, it's been a while since I've made slimes. This is really fun. All right, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our crunchy slime activator and they say to shake it. Shake it, shake it. You just pour in a little at a time and you mix it. So I'm gonna grab a little baby spoon. Look how small this spoon is. It's so tiny. And we're gonna, we're gonna mix these in. All right, I'm back now, and here is our slime that we made. Ta-da! I hope you guys can see the texture of the beads. It's so fun. And yeah, there we go. Next product we have here is the Alo Aloe Vera Aloe Vera Foot Peel Mask with Aloe Extract. Now <laughs> For obvious reasons, I'm not gonna be trying this one for the video. And also, its results take about three to seven days. But basically, if you guys don't know what this is, it's a foot peeling mask. So it's like a foot treatment. You put it on your feet, and then after so many like days, um, your skin starts to peel, and that like after all that, your feet is really baby soft. Next product that we have here is this incense burner. It's a waterfall backflow incense holder. I have never ever owned anything like this before. I, I own candles, like I literally have a candle right here. It smells so good. Um, but I've never owned something like this. I feel like these are more natural and essential oils, so. Maybe I should have a full, like a full spa moment with my foot peel mask and my essential oils and my, my hot dog toaster. So, um, everything I got for this video, I chose, cause they come in like different colors. They came in three colors, but I chose everything based off of the color that you gave me with the link. So this is the one we have. It's a pretty blue. I really like it. Um, I'm going to read the instructions and then come back and we'll try it together. All right, I'm back. I've read the instructions. These instructions make absolutely no sense. Maybe it's just because I'm a noob with these kind of things, but I also think this, um, like, this was definitely not made in the USA. I think this was translated. 
So I looked up a YouTube video on how to use this and I think I figured it out. So there's two different ways you could do this. You could either do this with the incense sticks or like these cone shaped thingies and they have all these different smells. So the one I got is rose and honestly, they all kind of smell the same, <laughs> but there's different kinds. So what I'm supposed to do is like put it, I feel like this is gonna fall off. I feel like this is very dangerous. Like this will not stay. Oh, oh wait, I think I'm supposed to burn it or blow it out. Oh, oh, okay. Well, it just went out. The smoke is up and then I think it's supposed to start going down. Wait, what is this supposed to do? It says, do not immediately blow out the like, flame. After burning about four to six seconds, blow out the flame and place in the back flow incense burner. No smoke will flow from the bottom. Initially, after about one to two minutes, the smoke changes direction and slowly flows out from below. This is weird! All right, so here it is close up. You can, yeah, you can kind of see the smoke coming out from the top of it. There you go. Um, it smells in here. It smells so bad, actually. Smells like the candles burning, but just like the burning part and not the actual fragrance. Um, I'm waiting for this to go the opposite way though, but kind of cool. <gasps> oh, wait, we're seeing the first signs. We're seeing the first signs of smoke come down. <gasps> Whoa! This is so cool, guys! Wow, it's even pink! Whoa! Whoa! All right, and next up we have our pillows and guys when this came in I was like what is this I thought like the pillows never came it's because they gave us pillow cases I thought it was gonna be actually pillows but now we have the cases I don't have any pillows to put them over so I'm hoping that they fit over the couch pillows that I already own um, but anyways let's open them up and hopefully they work if not, I'm probably gonna have to buy some pillows for these to go over. All right, guys, here are what the pillows look like when they're on the pillowcases. We have Let It Snow over here, and then we have Merry Christmas. And I think they look so cute, I love them. All right, guys, and for the last product, we have these fairy string lights. Those are so cute, I love fairy lights. And what I was thinking is maybe we can hang them above our dresser here. So if you guys can see, we just have our dresser and some decoration for Christmas on it. This wall is so bare though, we literally have nothing hanging up in our room. So it'd be kind of fun to spice it up with these. I don't know exactly how it'll work, but it's 66 feet long and there's 200 little fairy lights on this. So I'm gonna try hanging this up and hopefully it's cute. All right guys, I am back. I have all the lights hung up. You can kind of tell in the camera, um, but this took me so long because the only thing I had to hold them up was two sides sticky tape. It was very hard and they kept falling and kept getting tangled, but um, also my original plan was to have these lights go all the way up the whole wall because I thought I had a lot. But straightening them back and forth, I realized I ran out of room. So we're gonna see what it looks like with the lights off. Um, and turn them on and I'm super excited. Also another thing I forgot to mention is that it comes with a little mini remote so you could be sitting in bed and turn them on. I think that's so fun. So anyways, um, let's go try this. Also, strobe light warning. I think there's some modes with strobe lights. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so cute. There's different modes you can switch it to like this, it's a little bit faster, or like it repeats like different patterns, or you can have them go slowly on, and then it also turns slowly off as well. Ta da! Or this is a little, this one has like a little jig to it, and then there's this one. And then there's this one. This is kind of like the strobe light one. Dance party all the way, man and then it just on by itself. Oh my gosh, I love this. I'm so excited to show Spencer this because 10 out of 10 product, I highly recommend. Like, I love this so much. This is probably my favorite product from the whole video. <laughs> All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's video of testing Amazon products that you guys shopped for for me. And I thought this is so much fun. You guys have great ideas and I love all the products that you love 
or the ones you've always wanted to try. Also, this burner has gone completely out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's like powder. Whoa. I'm still very surprised about this thing. I have mixed feelings about this one, but everything else is an absolute must. Like I 10 out of 10 recommend. <laughs> so if you guys want me to do this video again, tell me in the comments down below what you want me to buy from Amazon next time. And maybe I'll do a part two. Also subscribe if you haven't already. And you guys know time goes. Brandon, thanks for saying bye.